Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. I wish to speak with you today about appropriateness, what it means to be appropriate in any given situation. It's easy to criticize other people for being inappropriate, saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, not being, not showing what would be called situational awareness. But inappropriateness is actually quite innocent. All it means is that you're not listening to the right mind. Because the ego hears the message of truth, it quickly locks onto it if it likes it and then makes a belief out of it or a rule out of it that it hopes to apply in its agenda to survive. But the original response came from love, which the ego doesn't know anything about. And so it can take something that was said with love, make a rule out of it, and then hit somebody over the head with it like a hammer, thinking that it has the handle on truth, but it doesn't. Let's take, for example, something I said, which is do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's a generally good rule of thumb. Don't do unto other people what you would not like done unto you. That's even stronger. But if you let the ego hear that and run with it, you will quickly find that you're in the land of inappropriateness. Let's say that a man takes on this idea and says to himself, our 25th wedding anniversary is coming up. What should I do for my wife? I know I'll do unto her what I would like done unto me. So he comes home with two hockey tickets. That's taking the idea and freezing it the way the ego would. It falls apart then. Can you see how inappropriate that is? Appropriateness requires that you not just be an island unto yourself with concepts and ideas about goodness, but that you are connected with the extensions of yourself out in the world and that you, at the same time, are always asking and open to what is the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Much of Buddhism has to do with the tenant, be kind. It's very simple and it's very profound. But what is kindness actually? If you make a concept out of kindness, it could quite very easily be foolishness. Letting a madman sit on your chest with a knife in his hand because you want to be kind. No, that's not appropriate. How do you know what is appropriate? You will not get there through concepts and ideas and beliefs. You have to be present moment to moment to know what to say, what to do. In my ministry, when I walked the earth, I didn't know ahead of time how I was going to minister to people, individuals. There were times when healing was appropriate. There were times when the placing on of hands was appropriate. There were times when I would just listen with love. 
and not offer the healing that had just taken place with another individual. I was always in touch with the guidance of my father about what was appropriate. And you only know that in the moment. You can't know it ahead of time and you can't know it afterwards. You can't make a rule out of it because everything that you do is also listened to by the ego and quickly co-opted into a concept, something used in its purposes to separate you from others. I was also very careful not to have people worship me. That reinforces the separation. He's amazing and I'm not, people would think. My message was, you're amazing. You're amazing. Yes, you can. Your faith will heal you. I was careful not to foster a dependency on me as a person or as me as special, even though I was emanating love all the time. The great power of influencing others is igniting in them their power, their freedom their joy, their choice, their divinity. You have that ability too, but it requires that you stay present to the guidance of the Holy Spirit to know what in fact is appropriate. And what is appropriate today may not be appropriate tomorrow. You will learn to trust over time. The quiet voice inside of you. Remember that the ego always speaks first, always grabs the microphone first, always has something to say for its own purposes. Beneath that is your guidance. But it requires a stillness in the present moment, you all can do this, and you all have done this, and you're doing very well. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.